One of my neighbours had a really good idea and that's to upload a video and to demonstrate my own phone working on uh, the Line SDR using it as a spectral analyzer. So uh, oh, there's a little bit lip there, that's where my phone should be, that little blip on the other one, yeah, side by side. Right, uh, let's go to my phone here and I'm going to upload the video of my dog upload to YouTube. Ready? Go. Right, in a minute now. Yep, still on 4G preparing. And what we're doing now, it's uploading. So, no, it's preparing. And 9. And the my block, there it goes. <laughs> That's my phone uploading a video to YouTube. And I look at input controls here. You can see that I've hardly got any amplification on the um, RX side of things. In fact, I've got nothing. But the signal is so strong. I don't need any amplification means. My phone's about literally about three feet, four feet away from the receiving area. So there it goes, this is a video of my dog. Not a very interesting video I'm afraid. It's actually less interesting than this one. Unless you're into radio frequency like this. Let's repeat the test in Lime Sweep. Okay, we've got the line suite graphical user interface up and I'm going to concentrate on channel B which is where the phone signal is received and then amplified and transmitted to the main base station. Uh, we're not going to transmit on this test, we're just going to see if we can receive a nice clean signal from my phone uploading a video of my dog. So game controls from the last test yeah, we realised that they need to be quite low, so LNA minus 24, TIA minus 12, yeah, that's almost nothing. Um, PGA gain zero decibels, almost nothing. But we know from experience that this is working. So uh, go over to my phone, check that it's on 4G, which it is, yes, and upload the video of my dog once more. Upload. There it goes. Preparing. Preparing. 27, 28, 35, 42. That's so exciting, isn't it? 57. Okay. And in the meantime, we can go over to this panel and start it going. So there's nothing much going on at the moment because my phone's not doing anything, but it has reached 99%. So any minute now, well, yes, look at that. Yeah, we've got a nice clean signal there. Not bad. We could actually probably amplify it a little bit more than that. Let's have a look at this. It's funny looking circles in the middle of the I versus Q diagram up here. Not quite sure what that is. It looks like a bullseye in the midst of it all. Ah, lost the connection. God damn it. I seem to do this quite a lot. Must be my dodgy USB drivers on my computer. But, hey, we've got the signal and it looks clean. So, I'm happy. Strangely enough, I was just uploading this very video and I noticed something slightly unusual. Um, this is on a, a, cheapier, a cheapo SDR module, so it's only got about 2 MHz bandwidth, but on the right hand side that shows the main um, radio frequency spectra that we were looking at before. So it's uploading a video, but if I scroll across a little bit, this little gadget shows me something slightly um, unusual happening. 
over here on the right hand side. If I can find it. It's here just now. Yeah, there it is. Get into the centre of the screen. Right. Just on the um, edge there at 836.6 seems to be more um, coherent lines. Yeah. So I'm still uploading the video. So on the left hand side there's a whole lot of activity still going on but this one here looks loads more um, kind of uniform and rational and I'm kind of thinking that this might be a control frequency but it also seems to be used for sending and receiving emails and when I send and receive an email all the mad stuff that's going on, on the left hand side is not there so yeah something a bit strange is going on here control signal that's also used for sending and receiving emails not sure about this it's a bit of a mystery